It's Monday, August the 6th. This is Business Morning and welcome to another new week. I'm Chimeze Obi Wago. Well, let's uh, look at what's on the calendar for this week. And um, today there will be an MSME retreat which we'll hold in Abuja with the theme towards a sustainable growth development. Also today, flour mills of Nigeria will be marked down by the NSC having declared a dividend of one naira last week. The 42nd edition of the Nigeria Annual International Conference and Exhibition will also hold in Lagos with the theme, Diversification of the Nigerian Economy, the Oil and Gas Industry as an Enabler. And on Wednesday, August the 8th, will be the official launch of the Association of Securities Exchanges of Nigeria. And this will take place at the Nigerian Stock Exchange. A Red Star Express PLC is also scheduled to be marked down on that day by the exchange, having declared a dividend of 40 cover uh, last week. On Thursday, August 9th, the National Bureau of Statistics uh, would release the telecoms data for second quarter 2018. Also this day, the Securities and Exchange Commission will hold the second Capital Market Committee meeting in 2018 and the meeting will run till Friday August the 10th at the Federal Palace Hotel Victoria Island here in Lagos. Well that's pretty much um, what the calendar looks like on our business, uh, the world of business. Now the Nigerian Stock Exchange is gearing up for the 2018 Corporate Challenge. The NSC Corporate Challenge is an annual highly competitive and fun field five kilometer walk jog and run competition designed to raise awareness and funds for the purchase of 37 mobile cancer centers valued at $613,000 each. Now, the fifth edition of the Corporate Challenge will be held on Saturday, September 15th at the Moriokula Park. Uh, now, uh, that's at Deamo Alakija, Victoria Island. And joining me now to tell us more about this Corporate Challenge is the Head Shared Services Division of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, Bola Adeko. Good morning, Mr. Adeko. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, good morning. Thanks for having me. That is seven mobile cancer centers at $613,000 each. Why has NSE taken this course, you know, to raise the money through this means, the corporate challenge? Sure. I think the way you um, emphasize the uh, amount of money uh, certainly does indicate uh, the, the big uh, task at hand. I think to answer that question, I'll start by explaining the reason why the exchange went into this uh, initiative uh, about five years ago. Uh, it's essential to save lives. Uh, when you go back and look at the number one uh, killer in the world in terms of diseases, cancer still remains one of them. Um, I think um, the stats around there are very, uh, very, very stark. In Nigeria, as an example, I believe the number that's been banded around is about 100,000 cases that are uh, diagnosed every year. Uh, unfortunately, the mortality rate from that figure that I just gave you is very bad. Uh, I believe about 80,000 of those 100,000 uh, die. A large part of that is because of uh, lack of early detection and, and prevention. Uh, for the Nigerian Stock Exchange, uh, we uh, picked this particular course because as part of the uh, sustainab sustainability uh, program of the exchange, uh, which is anchored on four different pillars, uh, community, uh, environment, uh, marketplace, and, and workplace. Uh, we have different interventions for every one of those pillars. And for the ones for community, uh, we look at things that we can do around the health sector. and so. While other uh, diseases and ailments are important, we wanted to tackle the one that has uh, a, a huge impact. Uh, we're also part of the Sustainable Stock Exchange uh, Initiative as well as the United uh, Nations uh, Global Compact. So this, so this lies in well with our vision in terms of where we want to play uh, in making an impact in the community. Now looking at the huge amount of money here, do you see the NSC being able to raise this fund through this means? Ultimately, uh, as you Hopefully our track record has shown uh, we don't give up easily. Uh, the task is, uh, is uh, huge, as I mentioned up front. And so I mean to give some indication as to progress we've made, maybe that would answer the question. When we started this journey back in uh, 2013, I recall the first year we didn't make any money at all by the time we netted out all the expenses. And this is with all the help that we got, of course. 
So if you look at different measures in terms of success that's been gained over them, which has certainly been encouraging uh, by way of the amount of money that we've raised, uh, I think to date, while it's still a bit sh quite shy of what we're uh, targeting, net of all the expenses that we've incurred, I think we're about 60 million naira uh, that we've acquired so far over this uh, past four years. Uh, additionally, when you look at the actual impact, because it's not just about money, it's also about awareness. Uh, we started the first year, I think we probably were lucky if we had about 200 people that actually participated in the race. Fast forward to the last one we had last year, the fourth edition, we had about 832 people that registered. Uh, unfortunately, Mother uh, Nature had different plans for us that day because it rained very heavily. But despite that, it's about, about 432 people or thereabouts showed up and actually participated. Um, again, awareness, uh, one of the measures is uh, in terms of how people now understand uh, the issues around cancer on that particular day, uh, and again, this has also been having a positive trajectory. Uh, we trended number one on Twitter, and when you look at the tweets as well as the, uh, as well as the impressions, I think it was about 57 uh, million impressions uh, globally. So uh, we'd like to have got a lot more money up until now in terms of actually raising the money for these mobile screening centers, uh, but uh, we're not giving up because we feel as though uh, with more uh, uh, sponsors and participation, we certainly can get there, at least to buy one to start off. <laughs> right, you're not giving up. Well, this is the fifth edition. So what has kept the motivation going for NSE? It's been very simple. I think it's very difficult to walk into a room, and I suspect if I had to put you in the spot for a second and ask that, do you know anyone that's been uh, diagnosed with cancer or even worse case has died from cancer? The resounding answer that we all tend to give is yes. So it's very personal. And for the organization, again, as I mentioned earlier on, this is one that if we actually can, while it may seem like a drop in the ocean, if we can actually do something in this area, uh, we'll have more of an impact. And also it gives us an opportunity to network as well, because uh, by and large you have about 100 different entities that come together on that day, uh, generally corporates, listed companies, dealing member firms, uh, NGOs and the likes, uh, with their employees. And so... The idea is that you get them together, folks that ordinarily would not have had a chance to, uh, to mingle, and then you walk, run, and uh, if you can, uh, race as well. So it's supposed to be fun. And we do have some artists as well that tend to come every year to uh, add a little spice to it. So, so far, how, how, what have you been able to achieve? Um, I think over the years, uh, I will tell you for sure, and again, without uh, uh, sounding like we're bragging, uh, this event has now become top of mind, that people actually look forward to it. Uh, because, again, the number of the other initiatives that uh, happen in the market outside of ours, but I think from an awareness perspective, it's key that we continue to put this uh, uh, front and center so people can actually pay more attention to uh, uh, their, their health. So living well, uh, that's exercising, eating well. And then also in terms of all the things that they teach you about the uh, early signs of uh, the different forms of cancer, that by having an event like this where it brings focus to it, that is more awareness in that regards. And uh, in terms of the financial side, we're hoping that we have a blockbuster year uh, in terms of participation. Uh, so if you can't run or jog, at least if we can get some sponsorship to go towards this uh, fund, so at least buy uh, the first uh, mobile screening center, that would be very much uh, uh, appreciated. So tell me, uh, how does it work? What's the procedure like? How can one participate? Correct. So all the information that one would need, uh, certainly it's on our website, uh, that's nsc.com. Uh, .ng. But essentially, uh, you go there and you register. It's an online registration uh, process. Uh, the name of the company that you represent, or if you're an individual as well, you can register yourself. Uh, and there's a nominal fee to uh, register a team of, uh, of uh, participants. And again, this money goes directly uh, to this pool that I mentioned earlier and that we're trying to pull together. Um, I mean, certainly there are other ways that anyone that comes to the exchange building can also come and register. But primarily, uh, all the information that you need, uh, you can get through the... Uh, NSC website, uh, website. And who is eligible to participate? Is it only uh, quoted companies or you could have individuals? Uh, you can have individuals. So primarily when we started off, it was just uh, quoted companies and the dealing member firms. But we've expanded uh, the, uh, the network now to allow for NGOs as an example, because certainly their course also aligns with ours. Uh, and also some government agencies as well have also participated in the past. Now, for yeah. me as an individual, if I want to participate, am absolutely. I allowed Absol to participate absolutely. to do the round without paying the money anyway? Uh, we have to discuss that <laughs> offline. <laughs> anyway, uh, for China, to give you a point, China suddenly <laughs> continues to be a, a media partner, so mm. we won't have any problem 
uh, certainly happy you to participate with us. All right. Now, aside from raising the funds uh, for the fight against cancer, are there other business opportunities therein for um, participants? Uh, you know, it's a good question. You remember I talked earlier about the networking uh, platform that this presents. So yeah. while that's certainly not the primary objective of uh, this event, uh, again, when you get 200 to 800 people together where they start to talk and bond, I suspect there's probably some business that uh, gets created out of that. But I just have to emphasize this primarily is more about uh, just drawing attention to the, uh, to the uh, scourge called cancer and looking for ways to, uh, to get more people to have a better chance of surviving it. Okay. Now, you did mention uh, some of the challenges you may have encountered since you started. Are mm -hmm. just those the only challenges, or there are more? And how do you hope to mitigate these challenges going forward? Um, funding continues to be a challenge. Uh, I think especially in the last few years where we did have uh, uh, economic recession. Uh, so uh, the generosity that we probably otherwise have seen uh, dipped a little bit. Uh, things have turned around a little bit. I mean, not all companies are completely out of the woods, but so m money continues to be a, a bit of an issue. I think the second one is that there's still a bit of uh, a cultural aspect to people uh, understanding that, uh, you know, it's okay to actually uh, talk about it. Uh, I think there's been this long-held myth about people having certain uh, symptoms that later on when they now find out that... Uh, uh, it's cancer. It's too. It's too far advanced, uh, and, and so it's it's about education as well. And I think that, as I, as you can imagine, it's an ongoing process, uh, but um, it's one that, with a lot of effort and focus behind it, that we feel as though uh, it will get better. So I, I think awareness uh, certainly is one of the challenges, but it's getting better, and and, and funding. And as do well. you think you've created enough awareness for this, for um, this five years? I think we've created some um, to say that uh, you know we've. Uh, that mission accomplished, I think, would be certainly uh, misguided because uh, it's, it's a big problem. And even the stats that I quoted earlier on, while I believe that there's been improvement, uh, it, ha it hasn't reached the level at which I think we all would like to, to see. And I think the sad part of it is uh, a lot of the cases that you hear, whether directly or indirectly, uh, a lot of those cases are actually treatable. I think the World Health uh, Organization said it's about 30 to 50 percent of cases of cancer are actually treatable, and the person can actually live a quality life afterwards. So people just been aware of their bodies, uh, so the things that we should be checking, whether it's daily or monthly or annually, that would help us at least uh, detect these things early, I think is very key. So for how long do you see this initiative going to last? Uh, there's no end date. Uh, I think the sustainable um, sustainability program of the exchange is one that we felt uh, as a strategic imperative, because it's not just about uh, the commercial side of making money, we also have to be a good corporate citizen. So um, the community one, which is the pillar under which this falls under, is one that we see continuing for, uh, for the foreseeable future. I think the amendments that we make every now and then is if we look at other interventions that we can uh, add to it, we will, but I think this still continues to be a very uh, uh, key issue that we want to focus on. All right. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Adipo. Before I run, I think I forgot to mention, uh, the event itself is on September uh, 15th. Mm, I did mention early, that. It's an early start, just to close out. An <laughs> early start, 6 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. I'm Subola Adeko is the Head Shared Services Division at the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Well, let's take a look at what happened last week at the market, starting with the equities proceedings in the equities market turned bearish last week as the all share index shed 0.37% to close at 36,499.67 points with investors booking profit on previous gains. Uh, three of the five sessions we closed in the red as the month to date and year to date losses rose to 1.40% and 4.56% each. Total volume of trades dropped 1.82% to 1.39 billion units, valued at 20.32 billion naira. And most sectoral indices closed to lower consumer goods, uh, insurance, and industrial goods, except for the banking, which rose 0.83%, and oil and gas, which went up 6.76% indices. Uh, those two went notwards. Uh, market breadth was negative with 42 losers and 34 gainers. 
Well, we'll take a break and then um, when we come back, we will look at the Nigeria economy from the perspective of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce, which reviewed the half year last week. Just stay with us. <laughs> 